Fitness doubles Matsumoto Nagahara taking on Tan and Muri Taran. Looking at the draw for the women's doubles, well, as you can see, the all number ones, the number one seeds, Chen and Jia through against Jolene Pulelo already. They've taken up the first of those quarterfinal berths, and that will be the opponent for Matsuyama and Shido Iwanaga and Nakanishi. Now, at the other side, Matsumoto Nagahara and Talentino will play either Zhang Zheng or DeWitt and Toto Sentono. As you can see, players and pairs Using that warm-up area, They're ready for their big matches here on day four of the tournament. Great facilities here at the Royal Arena. It's the fifth time that Denmark has staged the World Championships, and that is the most of any nation. 19 different countries, believe it or not, have staged World Championships seven more than once. And Indonesia, the second most participated country, with Jakarta hosting it three times. So my Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara in some good vein of form right now. Pearly Tan and Tina, well, it's been a middling year for them. But they would love to have a great run here at the World Championships, and here they come. The world number four pair. Their fifth appearance at the World Championships, and of course, two gold medals along the way. That was in 2018 and 2019. Both of those. One against From Fukushima Malaysia, and Hirota. And the 2022 French Open winners, Holy Tan and Tina. As I said, not a stellar year for them by their standards. But they did get third place finishes at the German Open, the Indonesia Masters, and the India Open. It's their third appearance at the World Championships. And this equals their best performance in round three. Well, it's going to be a tough match for them, no doubt. Yeah, as you can see, leading in the head-to-head -head. Talentina, 2 1. Last meeting earlier this year at the All England. My own Wakana, you get to choose the toss, red or black. Red, so black for you. Red, who's receiving? You receive. Who's serving? Tina serving. And what side? Left side. Good match. Well, they've played each other before, of course. They know each other's games. And this could be an absolute cracker of a match. Both pairs very hard to beat. And I'd have to say that with the recent form of Makana, Nagahara and Mayu Matsumoto, maybe, perhaps, be shading it. 28 years old now. Mayu Matsumoto, born in Hokkaido. That's been as high as number one. That was back in 2019. Also plays mixed doubles with Yuki Kaneko. But together, they are quite the formidable pair. Silver medalists at the Sudirman Cup. Gold medalists, as I said, on two occasions. 2018-2019, Nanjing and Basel. And this year, well, quarter-final appearance at the Australian Open, third in Japan, third in Korea, second in Canada, quarter-finalists in Singapore, and that was their first round, or second round result, I should say, Oh, Young, after receiving that bye 
in round one. Pearlie Tan, 23 years old. Born up north in Kenna. Rank 11 has been as high as five, and that was earlier this year. She's had to deal with a couple of injuries. Uh, looks like she's back from them. This is a solid as ever partner, Tina Muri Tarrant. Just outside KL. Salango. And that was their first match after receiving a bye in round one. Julie McPherson and Chara Torrance from Scotland in 33 minutes, 21 15, 21 10. Ready to play? Umpire for this one, Michael Stepp. And our service judge, Yasan Sairali. So about ready to get underway here. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wakana Agahara and Mayo Matsumoto, Japan. And on my left, Perdi Tang and Tina Maralitahara, Malaysia. <laughs> Tina Maralitahara to serve, to Wakana Agahara, love all. Play. Imagine this is going to be a keenly contested match. Gronia Somerville still in the commentary box with me. Gronia, how do you see this going? Um, I think it will be a tough task for the Malaysians because of the slow shuttle. I know this Japanese pair are really good at pushing it into the corners. And with it being slow, I think it'll be harder for the Malaysians to get it out of those corners and to the back. But I think oh. if they can control the, the mid and front game like Good they over. just did there, then they can One, get through the Japanese two. defense. Well, if there's one thing I can tell you, as a Malaysian, Pearly Tan and uh, Tina, they never give up. Yes, they definitely do not. I was watching, was it, I think, the Malaysia Open. Where they 211 had... shot rally. Yeah. I was commentating on that. Oh, That's really? right. <laughs> but they also had, like, two or three games in a row, like, matches in a row that went to three sets that were over an hour. Yeah. I could not believe that they kept winning through three, with, two. obviously, so much physical fatigue. Yeah, it was, um, as I said, I mean, he created headlines just for the effort, really. But they were defending at times 
crouching, not just crouching, but actually lying on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Just refuse to give up. No, they're great scramblers, great at just getting stuff back, looking like they're down and out and just always getting one more shuttle, one more shuttle over. As I said, it hasn't been a stellar year for them in terms of results. There was those third place finishes at the German Open and Indonesian Masters in India as well. They were second earlier on in the year. And of course, all pairs and players looking for good results this year, being a Paris qualification year. Next year's Olympics. This is the 11th event of that one year period. Great defense by Tina. Oh, looking for that drop. Five, Didn't quite connect. Two. As I said, Nagahara and Matsumoto have had an absolutely fantastic year in terms of results. Quarter finalists in Australia, third in Japan, third in Korea, second in Canada. I could go on, but we'd missed a match. We had a very, very good run. Three, and, of course, as I said, looking for their third world title after 2018 and 2019. So they know what it takes to go all the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Bernie Tan does well. Drops from the back court. Just pushed it too long. Four, five. It's funny you should mention that that match actually, which which went on for those rallies, because in that Tinner actually was physically sick. Yeah. yeah she actually had to go off. Which is completely understandable. They oh, probably ran yeah, no. a marathon the way, each day. The way they were playing, it was. It's just one of those moments you kind of remember from the match as, as just... Her body was clearly just asking her, please sit down, please stop playing badminton. And she's yeah. like, no, Shut <laughs> down, keep <basically>. playing. <laughs> that fighting spirit that lots of people to think they can make a very good run this week. But as I said yesterday, the World Championships, if you're going to be the best, you have to beat the best. And exactly. So many good pairs. Over. The other thing, of course, Pearly Tan has had to. She's a very physical Five. player in the way that she moves around the court. Five, and because of that, on, you always up. get this fear that she's going to pick up a knock or an injury. She's had a couple of them. Onto an elbow, of course, a big one to the knee. Yeah. Seems to have recovered from that. Yeah, she really does put her body on the line in every match. Well, right now, 6 5. <laughs> They're just edging ahead. That's going to make it 6 all. Six, and neither four. pair, as it stands now, really cutting in to the other one. It's that those kind of counters from the Japanese that then give the short backhand clear of Tina's racket that is so effective in this hall where it is very slow. So if they can keep working the rallies that way, then I think they can get the advantage. But Pearly and Seven, Tina just need to be six. smarter in their attack so that the Japanese girls can't counter into those corners as easily. Right. Matsumoto on that left side. Eight, six. But already we're seeing lengthy rallies, and that's what it's all about. Between pairs like this, neither pair refusing to give any ground. Service over. Seven, eight.
Fast exchange at the net. And it falls Eight away all. the Japanese pair. Eight all. Like it, and Eight. Tian Hao. Matsumoto picked a spot. Nine, four. Looks like she has all the time. I think she must be the biggest. I was just about to say. Women's doubles player on tour. Probably even women's in general. Yeah. I don't yep. think that would be a bigger women's singles player. Ten, I think Potato nine. would have challenged her, but now Potato has retired from Thailand. I mean, I can think of mixed doubles. Gloria with Jaja will be oh, watching yeah, later on. She's, she's pretty true. tall, but yeah. it's also because um, Nagahara is also pretty sizable. So yeah, yeah. not really <laughs> the difference. But does that make it? I mean, if you have physical presence like that in terms of height, does that make you a more effective pair in any way as a doubles? Same. Yeah, I think definitely she she has a lot of weight to her smashes and just in general, I guess, when you're playing the flat stuff or the stuff just over the front court player, you really have to be wary of adding those extra few centimetres on top of that because she is that much taller. Yeah, come back down. Yeah. Well, they're sitting back in a nice flat defensive pattern, ready to soak up whatever pressure's coming. Pearly Tan on the offensive. Oh, that's a nice cut. Good patience by Pearly. Yeah. Oh, Tina that was perfect. jumps in. Yeah. Exactly what you had to do there. If she smashed out of position any earlier, they were going to get countered by Japan. She kept the attack. She didn't clear it away. Just very patient from the back foot. 11-10 so at the first mid-game interval. As expected, very close. Eleven ten. Play. So back on court, second phase of game one. Still everything to play for. Right away, we're seeing that patience again from the back line from Malaysia. Over. Didn't pan out there, but still the right idea, I think. 11 oh. I think you just saw that pan movement from Hurley as well. Just echoing exactly what you're saying about keeping it down, keeping it calm. Waiting for their opportunities. 11 all. Mega hard to serve. Those drops into front court. Katsumoto wise to it. Hey! 
12-11. So it's the tiniest of margins that she has to aim for that time. Outside of the mark. So 12-11 on serve. Sarah, nervous 12, service. Four. I think only her and one of the Chinese girls serve the hand currently in the circuit. So important to get that service action right, keep it varied as well. Exerting a constant pressure right now. Nagahara and Matsumoto. Interesting rally. Nicely played, nicely weighted out almost by Malaysian pair. But it is important for Nagahara and Matsumoto with that ability that Pearly Town has to drop it in 14, front court. 12. Just make sure their position is exactly where it should be. They want to be caught flat in any way. A two-point lead for Tan and Tina. That's exactly what I was talking about. Nagahara with a nice pick-up. Enough angle on that. To force the error from Tina. 13. 14. A bit too flat. Straight into. It's no. Tina. Not Nagahara. That one. Matsumoto's <laughs> forehand. <laughs> Matsumoto. That's in. No, well, it looked in. Is there a challenge coming? No. Well, from up here, 15, pretty high commentary 13. perch. Just having a look at the replay now. There it is. It sails over and. No, I got to say. No! Oh, this is a good little breakaway by. Valentina, it's worked out well for them at 16-13. Now you've extended that lead, so this is the biggest lead that we've seen in the game so far. Four points, and at just the right time as well. This is smart play, as you said, from them. 13. They've been injecting the power in at just the right times. Yeah, patient and well-placed attacks is the key here for the Malaysians. So! I think that's the third unforced error off my racket now. 13. Exactly the wrong time for Matsumoto Nagahara. So, 
staring down the barrel in this first game. And goal number four pair. Again, there's that drop. She did get to it, just couldn't control it. So, seven game points. Sudden breakaway by the Malaysians. I wonder how many of these they're going to need. And more than one is the answer to that. Nice angle by Matsumoto. 14-20. Flat angle on that. So 21 third, 21 14. And Tina Barahan, 17 minutes 21, gone. 14. And all looking good for the Malaysian pair so far. So back on court for game two, and it was a very good performance all in all from the Malaysians. As you said, Gornia is patient, waited for their opportunities. Love all. Play. Now on the slightly better side of the court as well. Let's see what they can do. Definitely seems like the Malaysian pair have found the key in their tactics in how to beat this Japanese pair how they're playing so far. We'll see now if the if the Japanese pair can mix it up and are onto their tactics and have something to counter it, to swing it back in their favour. But that is what's so important, really. It's not just about playing out the rallies and, and scoring the odd point. It's about finding that angle in where you can harvest a run of points and start getting five or six points in. Yeah, precisely. Serves over. Well, Rexy Malaiki. One, Legendary four, Indonesian eight. doubles exponent, of course, he's been in charge of the Malaysian double setup for quite a while now. And he has great faith in this pair. And his partner sitting next to him, Hun Tian Hao, also another Malaysian doubles legend. That was a nice little rotation by Tan and Tina. And at this point, I would think that the Japanese kind of have to also adopt the similar tactics to what the Malaysians are doing against them. You saw there that um, Matsumoto was just all out smashing for four in a row, and then Tina just stepped in, countered that. But if she was hitting some angles, some drop Over shots, shoulder. steeper shots, then maybe the Malaysians would be trying to do a little Two. bit more from their defense or hitting it out the back now that they are on the faster side as well. You're getting that variation in between front court and back court. Yeah, yeah. 
keeping them on their toes. That was a nice kill by Nagahara. Either way, scoreboard still reflective. 3-2 Three. Three, up now. And they can play with the confidence of having that first game in the bag because, well, with a matchup like this, no one could really predict which way it was going to go. Oh, that's too long. Nice pick up by Tan. Oh, for a second there, I was wondering she was getting up a bit gingerly, but there's that big smile from Tina, and I think she's all right. A lot of people, when they watch badminton, they don't realize the physicality of it and how easy it is with the lateral movement, the vertical movement, the three the three dimensions of it, that how easy it is to pick up a knock and an ankle. Of course, yesterday, Michelle Lee uh, had a big knee injury. Yeah. That's tragic. You really see? Is. Yeah. We hope for the best, of course, in terms of recovery. Oh, that's a nice cut by Pearlie. Oh, some good movement by Japanese pair. Looks as if they're tied on a string. better on that side of the court. So four all. These errors coming in Five. a bit too frequently. Matsumoto, Matsumoto and Nagahara. <laughs> Not critical yet at 5 4. That's the right play by the Japanese, being able to counter it into those corners, then no hope of being able to backhand clear to the, all the way to the back. A little nod of approval from her partner. They're Six, in it to win it. Five. As I said at the top of this match, middling year so far for Tarantina. I think after that 2022 French Open victory, a lot of people were expecting them to really stamp their dominance out. on this year. And I said they've had a couple of good finishes, but still haven't picked up a title yet this year. Malaysian fans is adding to that heartbeat. <laughs> there you go, that's out. Challenge unsuccessful. I think if you didn't get a title all year, One as long as you got the remaining. World Championship. One, That's, you'd probably yep. be pretty happy. <laughs> I was just about to say, actually, before that challenge came in, Six, all can be all. forgiven yeah. if you get yourself to even the semi-finals, I reckon, if you got it. But in the end, if you're here, you may as well pick up the title. 
if possible. Wait. But you're talking about the likes of Chen Sing Chen and Jai Yifan. <laughs> yeah. Big, big pairs. Yeah. Matsuyama and Shida. There's a load of Japanese pairs as well. Fukushima and Hirota. by the Malaysians. Up straight down the middle from Tina. Nicely picked angle. Turn it over. Seven, six. with that. <laughs> that would have been a great so over. combination. There's that variation again. Seven. You were saying... Certainly not making it easy for the Japanese pair. That's for certain. Well placed shot by Matsumoto. Eight, seven. Difficult to retrieve. below the hip. Clinical winner down the line by Mayu Matsumoto. Attack from Malaysians. A solid defense from Japan Ten, there. Seven. So they take a 10 7 lead. And they're going to be very, very relieved at that. Bit of a high serve there. Eight, Tina really taking ten. advantage of it. That's got them the Eight. serve back. Eight. Good power from Tina. Was not going to be denied on that point. Nine, ten. And you can see now that the Malaysians are down the end with a little bit more drift going their way. They're going with the all-out attack more, a bit more aggression compared to the first game anyway. Absolutely, yeah. Let's smack it as hard as you like from over there. Service over. 11-9. A little bit Interval. snatched by Hurley Tan. 
So 11-9 at the mid-game interval. They get back on court, second phase of game two. Very interesting conversation there with the umpire just informing the officials that the Japanese coaches were actually speaking to their players, I think just before the serve or during the serve. Which one of those is illegal? If um, not both, maybe. Yeah, I think as they're serving. So technically, I guess the shuttle's about to go into play and they're still speaking. And I know these coaches have been told off already in other matches for it, so <laughs> they're going to keep pushing the line, seeing what they can get away with. I don't know if the players like it, or I don't know if the coaches think it's more effective. No, they don't seem to be too bothered by the reminder. Oh, Smack yeah. on the wrist. Yeah, I mean, what, what they expected they do? that. Yeah, that was a nice little return by Matsumoto. <laughs> Reflex return, and Tinaran. And just bunched up a little bit on the left side, left a lot of open space on the right. A couple of quick fire points here to open up this second phase of the 10, second game. 12. Well, one of the things that's plagued Tanantina throughout this year has been this three game decider. They've, a lot of times they've broken off and they've raced off into a lead and then conceded the last two games. So it would be great benefit to them if they could do this in two. They're not that far behind. They're going to have to overturn this three-point deficit first. They definitely don't want Matsumoto and Nagahara getting to 16 or 17. Town at the moment. I would say probably irregardless of the drift and that may, maybe being the reasoning why they're going a lot harder in this game in the attack the Malaysians that the tactics that they had in that first game really were kind of pinpoint accurate just with the patience and making the Japanese trying to create something on their own in the defense or, and waiting for the right time to attack. I don't think there would be much harm in doing that on this end now. Because the Japanese, they just love the shuttle coming hard at them. They, right. they like being able to then counter themselves. Wonderful drop into midcourt. 12-13. And they're right back in it now. On serve, one point back. And I can tell you, as predicted, Earlier on, the Royal Arena really filling up now. Home fans have been in good voice, not just the Malaysian fans. But only the second match of the day. Already very good turnout. 13 4. And they've tied it up at 13. Well, now a little bit of concern. The faces for Matsumoto and Nagahara, I'm sure. I need to get an iron grip on this. That's a beautiful shot into the corner. 14 13. Hurley does have an impressive wrist. The power that she can get in such small swings, just whipping it cross court. I don't know how she does it with her tiny her tiny wrist, <laughs> her tiny arms. You know, she has the, the strongest smash yeah. in the world right now as a, for the female. That's right, yeah. She must have a lot of fast twitch, powerful fibers. Good over. 14 it's very true. Those control conditions in Japan where those 
smash tests were made. Pearly time came out on top for the women, and it was Ranky Reddy for the Indian doubles pair that came out with the some ridiculous speed for his smash. Uh, yeah, 500. Yeah, it's absolutely stupid. Way, way. Mac yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they're down on the floor again. Outwitted this time. 15, 14. Do you know if they test like a lot of players then? I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think they. I don't think it was random. But, um, <laughs> we want these players to have yeah. the fastest <laughs> smash. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they get like yeah about ten of them and then and then seeing we just didn't know the other night. Yeah, I'd love to see Jai Fan do it because you know on tour every she's renowned for having such a strong smash. Well, I mean you've of course been on court and you've played these pairs and you've had these smashes coming at you, right? Yeah, yeah. It's entirely different perspective. You've got a, a much better read on these things. Yes. Now oh, 15 all serve with the Malaysians. Getting into the business end of this second game. Next two points, absolutely critical for both pairs. Oh, it's great court coverage by Pearly. Just took her eye off just at the last second. 16, 15. So the first of those important points goes to wait yeah, Matsumoto yeah, and Nagahara. Yeah. So into the game, they forgot who's serving. Well left by Tina. And that was how they got a few cheap points in the first game with the Japanese lifting out the back. And of course, at this stage of the match, those cheap points just got a lot more valuable. And it's a lot less effort playing drop shots than exactly, <laughs> smashing, <yeah>. your, <laughs> smashing your guts out every time. Oh, that's great variation from Burley. Did enough. 17 16. Now you can say things are beginning to get dicey for the Japanese pair. As you can see from the coaches, they're very, very happy with what's going on. Defensively, Tarantina has been on top, and I think even offensively, they've been on top. It's really, they've been asking all the questions here. Yeah, they have been really good in their defense, being able to whip it away when under pressure, and so explosive in their attack. Good variation. The Japanese have been a little bit one-dimensional in what they could do. And they're also standing back a little bit as well. They're kind of yeah. really looking for... You can just see the kind of hungry drive. Right? Just as I say that, it's a service error from the Malaysians. That's the commentator's curse for you, just when you're going on about it. I mean, that's just nerves, I guess. At 18-17, that was a very important point. Difference between 19-16 and 17-18. So, good chance here for Matsumoto and Nagahara. They have to calm their own nerves. And they have to convert this point. Interesting defense from Pearlie. Oh, she loves doing that. <laughs> she absolutely loves doing that. I mean, usually you'd expect it about 180 shots into the rally, but <laughs> now she's just put it into her, her MO. 
Oh, tricky shot. Oh, this happened again. I don't know if it was that shot from Purdy that kind of just maybe rattled the Japanese pair. <laughs> I think it inspired that That actually with their looked last like stop. it was going out. Oh, no, no, that would have dropped in. Nicely picked up by Matsumoto, actually, based on that replay. So, 19 17. And the Malaysian pair. Remember, this is their best outing at the World Championships, was round three. They're two points away from the quarterfinals. Out defending by Tina. Oh, she couldn't get the last one. Turn over. 18, 19. Better placement here. Going down the middle and the side, making them have to move a little bit more. Ladies. Well, they seem up for it. Down and Tina. <laughs> well, Japanese pair definitely at sixes and sevens. It's reactive defense at the moment. Good rotation by Talentina. Incredible. I think Matsumoto on the floor a few times there. Well, however it went, that rally, in the end, it's worked out for them. 19 all. I think it will be a bit harsh on Tanantino if they lose the second game, the amount of effort that they put into it. Yes. If they do, they're going to have to pick themselves up. That it, if that had got over, wow. You know, looking back at that replay, I think that roll was a bit dramatic. I think she was <laughs> off balance because she, if the shuttle was coming over, the only way she was going to hit it was her on the ground and a racket above her head. So she just gave up fighting gravity at that point. And just, she just literally rolled with it. <laughs> Succumb to physics. <laughs> Well, this is, I said, there have been a few key important points this match already, but it doesn't really get more important than this for Matsumoto Nagahara on serve. 19 all. Gonna be denied. Pearly thought she had it with the little drop into front court. And in the end, after some very good work from Tina, 20 match points, they get themselves a match point. It's been Matsumoto putting her body on the line this game. Well, Rexy celebrating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the passion. You just love it. one more point, my friends. <laughs> But this has been a great performance. That's what he's been talking about. This is the performance that he's been expecting from them. And they've come out against a top pair, and they've done pretty well. So, no nerves needed on this service. Match point. That's gone out. It's going to extra points. First to two or first to 30, whichever comes first. Same situation yesterday with Kim and Kong in the women's doubles. That went to 27 25. 
And of course, for Matsumoto and Nagahara, they're fighting for a game. And for the Malaysians, they're fighting for the quarterfinals. Careful play by Nagahara. Matsumoto being targeted now. Oh, what a great drop in. Beautiful touch always off Curly's racket. So it's a second match point for them. But just then in that rally, you saw them settling back again, being more patient, not just specifically going for the attacks. So troubled times for Matsumoto and Nagahara. Second match point they're facing. Straight on the attack of this team that does it. What a performance. By the world number 15s, they've ousted Matsumoto and Nagahara in two games. 21-14, 22-20. And they are on to already their best performance of the World Championships, but maybe, just maybe, this is the start of a very good run for them. Last point again, it was just power, power and more power from Pearlie. And in the end, the finishing touch from Tina steep enough angle straight to the feet of Nagahara well bring it on so they will face either Zhang and Zheng or oh, DeWitt and Furutenko, who of course got their bite into round two with the withdrawal of the Aimsard sisters. That's one of the most significant withdrawals. A very happy Pearly Tan and Tina. 48 minutes, they're through. The Malaysian charge continues. Up next, it's the defending champions, Zheng Shi Wei and Huang Yashong. And they're going to be taking on Dejan Ferdinandia and Gloria Emmanuel with Jaja. Don't go anywhere.
So back on court two here at the World Championships and after that fantastic performance from Pearlie Tan and Tina Murdi Sharon, it's the mixed doubles. And this is going to be a classic. The defending champions and world number ones and number one seeds, Zheng Shi Wei and Wang Yashong taking on Dejan Ferdinand Xia and Gloria Emmanuel with Jar Jar. So looking at the draw for this one as we get to the business end of the tournament and all the likely suspects are in there. As you can see, just one pair again uh, unseeded, and that is Ferdinand Chen with Jaja in their debut run at the World Championships. They will face either Kim Won Ho and Chong Na En or Yi and Li from Chinese Taipei. Still in the mix, Feng and Huang taking on the home pair, Chris Janssen and Boya, and of course, Zhang and Wei Yao Zin. Another Malaysian pair down there as well, Gosun Wat and Siobhan Lai.